that's a wonderful thing for people to show up on a Saturday morning. Uh, you aren't supposed to wear a hat, I'll leave it. And I'm going to take mine off. And I'm going to explain my appearance just before that. There's uh, a lot of people in this community that are not well. But the community sure showed itself to be in a healthy place on Thursday night. Uh, it was a whole time going out of meeting at the pub. And it was because of an individual in the community that's uh, not very well. And uh, the, uh, it was a fundraiser because there's also some economic situation there. And the community turned out and there was a silent auction and there was people pledged to have their heads shaved and there was uh, a lot of money raised. And uh, there was unfortunately eight or nine of our firefighters were in the group. And eight of them or nine of them got their head shaved, and I wasn't going to do that, but that's So anyways, we're going to get this going in a minute or two. So we're going to have sort of council and staff up here and sort of find a spot. I don't mean to have the radio, but I need to just find it here. And uh, we still got a bunch of empties over on the far side there. So thanks so much for coming. I think I couldn't have started off better than sort of Brian's approach. Uh, just talking about old style bowling and really that has been sort of a core strength of this community and people coming together. And really that's the spirit of the town hall today. It's really, you know, the community coming together to have a good discussion. And uh, so we're here really to listen. We're here to sort of explain uh, um, what we're doing, why we're doing it. Uh, but really important to us is to hear from you, uh, your, what you think we're doing well. We'd like to hear that. What you think we're not doing well, we'd like to hear that. Uh, what you're curious about. You know, what, uh, why we're doing things that you've seen and, and, and like uh, an explanation. We're also here to listen, you know, to good ideas, <coughs> ideas you, you'd like to see happen. So all of that's sort of part of the day. Um, the, the town hall is new for us. We haven't done this before. I think we're going to learn from this and maybe do it better the next time. But the goal here is really to make town halls part of the, the ongoing municipal enterprise in the way we sort of uh, meet the community and probably perhaps uh, twice a year. Um, what we wanted to do today really is, I was going to start and give an explanation of really what we've been up to and go over that. And uh, I, I, it's going to be 25 minutes. That may sound like a long time. Uh, but I think it's worth sort of just hearing a quick scan across the municipal operation. It may answer some questions. It may provoke some other questions. Um, but at least it will sort of give us sort of a common language of what we're up to. So that's, I'll start with that. And then we've got an hour and a half really for uh, discussions. Um, questions from you. And in terms of asking those questions, you can just ask them. Uh, that's easy. You can ask them to an individual. Uh, you can ask a general question, and we can sort of look to who wants to answer that question. We've got staff and, and, and council here. Um, you know, if you want to just write a question on a piece of paper, um, you can do that and give it to County of Lawn, and there are a bunch of, of sort of question sheets. And we'll read out the question. Uh, we've committed, if we can't answer a question, and there's a good chance that there will be things that we really can't give you a good answer to today, um, we are committing to get back to you. Not just you as an individual, but we'll sort of be compiling sort of these questions and getting them on the website. Because really, your questions are probably going to are the frequently asked questions, and I think everybody in the community will benefit by seeing you know, these questions on the website. So and that will be sort of the legacy of, of today. So with, uh, I think that said, uh, why we're doing this, in a sense, the, the, the town hall really is a, an attempt to sort of go a step beyond what we've been before. We started uh, three years ago with the website, and that's what up. That's sort of really our, our anchor communication tool. Um, I've given uh, mayor's reports sort of on an ongoing basis on key issues. We hired Julie and our, uh, um, Jacqueline Massey. <laughs> We hired Jacqueline Massey a year ago to create Vidlink. And uh, are there, there are copies of Vidlink there? Yeah. And it's, a sign-up sheet. 
and a sign-up sheet if you want to get on the list. It's an electronic newsletter. It goes out to everybody. Uh, the fourth issue is coming out this spring, uh, but uh, we can also send it to you if you want. Uh, so just get on our sign-up sign -up list. So we did that, and then really the town hall is the next step. So here we are. Uh, we're exploring it together. So I was going to start with basically a quick scan of what's up. And it follows in many ways the handout. Uh, let me just grab that first. Yeah. This handout is a more detailed version of what I'm going to talk about, but I'll cover the same thing. And it really sort of covers the, the different municipal um, areas of importance. So can we get uh, an account of this? Sort of there, the Sorry, are you still recording with it? Yes. Do you know that the meeting is illegal? <laughs> According to Canadian law, Every meeting in the talk should be, everybody should be available to listen to it. So if the community can afford it, they should have listening devices so that everybody can hear. So I will my own, but I have to ask you to hang it around your neck, otherwise I don't hear it. Okay, okay. well we certainly don't want to conduct an illegal meeting. Okay. <laughs> so I should hold this. The speaker I Thank you, Jan, for making that point. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, the list of ground we're going to cover uh, really falls into two big categories. The first ones we'll go over really are how are we working on community priorities. And there are a bunch of areas that we'll cover, um, if, you know, what I'll, I'll cover in this. And the, and the last part really is sort of the team building part. And uh, the last four slides that I cover will also be that ground. So let's start with, uh, you should be able to just advance it to the keystroke. Yeah. So the Sun Cove Action Plan, these are in a sense no order, but the first couple are in an order, in that the Council really set sort of a Sun Cove Action Plan as a major part of our strategic plan. So back in 2006, we set three priorities for ourselves. Uh, we to, um, to site and, and get a preliminary design of the city facility, which we considered a key priority. Uh, we wanted to uh, identify and sell some community lands that we acquired in Crow Metro Vancouver uh, to pay off our debt. And we wanted to make some progress on ferry marshalling and terminal improvements. So we established three working groups, uh, and they got to work right away in, in 2006. The first group of that was uh, a recommendation from the Transportation a Working Group. Elizabeth uh, Valentine was the chair. She's here today. And uh, they said, um, keep the ferry marshalling on the government road. They did a thorough review uh, in the government road corridor. And so we took their advice and, and passed that, made that decision. Uh, there were some small projects in the cove that were meaningful, some paving and flower planters in 2007. Um, we made a decision to go ahead on a sewer treatment expansion. And that really was critical uh, because we've got a new civic facility being proposed. It would need um, sewer capacity. And we were going to sell some community lands that would need uh, sewer capacity to sell those lands. So that's, a, that's underway right now. Uh, we took on, through this civic facilities um, planning process, uh, a master plan of the code. And that was really, uh, and that got completed uh, and it was brought forward just uh, in January. And that really was allowed us a framework for thinking about our civic facilities, our land sales, our ferry marshalling. Uh, but it re remains sort of a reference document. The, um, the community center uh, feasibility study was just completed, a big effort. 50 meetings were conducted by the Civic Facilities Working Group to sort of pull that report together. We received it last week in Council. Uh, it's the front page article in the undergrad uh, this week. Uh, in progress, we're working on the sewer expansion, we're working on ferry terminal improvements, uh, we're working on the sale of community lands. We have uh, three rezonings in progress in the cove. One relates to the Inn at Artisan Square, uh, one a, uh, uh, a new float house for the uh, marina, and one uh, sort of new uses for the Orchard Cabin. So those are all part of a public discussion that's going on right now. And in addition, we've got some sidewalk and trail improvements planned for this year. Public safety and security, uh, essential, of course, to the community. Um, we 
uh, imperative that we have, the reality is 